All right, guys, welcome to the video. This will be a walkthrough of Laguna Umantay, or Lake Umantay, about three hours west of Cusco, within the Sacred Valley of Peru. And this is a, a topographical look at where the hike begins. The bottom of that green line is essentially the base camp, and the green line is the path, ending with the lagoon at the top. So I hope you enjoy. So this is a little meetup of a tour group that we were in going up to the Laguna Humantai. And uh, this is our first stop for breakfast. And I gotta tell you, the the van ride up here was bonkers. It was probably the scariest van ride I've been in yet since being here in, in Peru. I mean, you're literally a foot or two away from going over the edge, thousands of feet into a river. <laughs> so, very exciting. We've probably been on the road for close to three hours, and we are... I believe at the base here, it's around 10 or 11,000 feet above sea level. That's our altitude, and we're gonna go up to about 12.5 or 13. And just from walking a tiny bit, you can feel the difference in altitude and your lungs feel a bit constricted. And apparently the view at the top is supposed to be beyond magnificent. Um, we're so high up, you can actually see the snow-capped mountains over there. And the terrain and t the, the, the topography around here is just stunning. Yeah, the, the Andes are just such a special, special place. All right, guys, so we're, we're about halfway up to Laguna de Humantay. And uh, elevation is definitely kicking in. Could tell people are, are kind of worn out, but coca leaves to the rescue. And I just want to show you guys the view here because it's just spectacular. We're just very, very high up in the Andes, and the vibe here is just so, so special. It's like it's like the the mountains are just they speak to you. I know that sounds crazy, but it's uh, it's true. And we just walked th up this path here through those little villages. And these are actually places people can stay. They have these little dome huts you can stay in. They have hotels, lodges. Um, nothing that's too douchey or pretentious, thank goodness. You see like a, like a Best Western up here, that would be kind of weird. But um, yeah, people are so nice. Um, there's a river that flows through here. And um, yeah, wor words are just really, really not, not enough. Not enough. Wish you guys could, you know, all be here and check it out. But uh, yeah, we got people walking. We got some donkeys, horses, people manning the stalls. Um, there's our boy Tupac. He's our guide. Tupac, how you? Good, good. Yeah, shooting a video for family and friends back home. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for everything you've been showing us, man. 
Appreciate you. Pleasure, pleasure, you know. Yep, absolutely. This is yours as well. Yeah. You got late, a little bit late, but uh, this is yours. That's okay. awesome. And we, we are heading. You know, we are just one. Yeah. We must be just one. It's ours. <laughs> love, love that. Now that right there is just a snippet of the general philosophy of people in this area. You know, they're just so connected to the earth and, and you know, they want to share with people and there's, there's no, you know, mine, mine, mine. It's, you know, we're, we're all here together and let's, you know, share this beauty with one another. All right, catch you guys at the top. All right, guys, I think we are almost at the big kahuna. Womantai Lagoon. I'm gonna go up this way and see what we can see. I hope you guys are sitting down and not eating any cereal. Oh my gosh. Guys, it is so quiet and serene and beautiful here. Oh my god. We got some people over there spectating. The water's like a turquoise emerald color. Never seen anything like it. Oh, so, some girl just walked over the side of the hill and she goes, oh, that's it? I kind of see her point, but... I think the, the sky hurt her. I scared her with some lightning. Some thunder, rather. Yeah, man, so you guys are on the tour. Don't even have to come to Peru. love these little rock towers. Man. Dude, Peru is just filled, filled with treasures. It's unbelievable. I think the, uh, the walk up may have been more remarkable as far as scenery because of the changing, but yeah, this is, this is pretty epic. There's a pretty large, narrow waterfall in the distance, if you can see that. And some of the water eventually collects here. I brought one of those life straws, so I'm going to try to drink it. That's probably against the rules though. Friends from Germany hanging out. Everybody's chilling, taking it in. Oh yeah. And guys, a really great aspect of treks like this is just all the people you can meet. You know, people are, are there for the same reasons. They want to see, you know, beautiful, 
parts of Mother Nature, and Peru is just filled with them. And you never know who you're going to meet, you know, just other lovely fellow human beings. And it was a, a tremendous experience. And um, you guys should definitely, definitely go visit Laguna Umantay for sure. All right, let's go back into the video here. All right, just finished the walk up to the lagoon. And this is what it looks like on the way down. The sun is breaking. Just absolutely magical. All right, guys, we made it back to base camp. We were greeted by this friendly guard and had a chance to rendezvous with some other people from the start. And then we were all driven back to the place that we had breakfast at for a much deserved lunch with some classic Andean food. Uh, this was a quinoa soup with some breadsticks. Absolutely delicious. And that's a look at the table. Great way to wrap it up, um, spending these really valuable moments with people from all around the world. So thank you guys so much for viewing. Uh, if this is any inclination whatsoever to get you to go to Peru, uh, definitely go. Uh, it's, a, it's a country that's just, just magical, to be honest. And if you go, I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So take care, be well, and see you in the next one.